Hi guys and welcome to another video here from the Interval Tracking Festival 2018 out in Bobson 10. And I'm joined here by the lovely Lisa from Bitvest McCarthy Isuzu Trucks. Hi Lisa, how are you doing? Hi, finding yourself. Very good, thanks, very good. As we said, it is absolutely sweltering out here, but there's a little bit of a breeze that's coming through and it's keeping things nice and cool. But that's not to say that the action here at Interval isn't going to be heating up. So Lisa, do you want to tell me a little bit about who Bitvest McCarthy Isuzu Trucks is? And, and and what do they do? Bitwest uh, Isuzu Trucks, um, we've been around for the last two and a half years. It's the first Isuzu Trucks dealership in the uh, McCarthy stable, mm -hmm. one of uh, yeah, basically the first truck dealership. Um, since the exit of GM, um, we also now have, the, have the, both the trucks and the buckies in one stable. So yeah, we've got both offerings, the commercial side, the trucks and uh, buckies and latest arrival is the new MUX. And it is out here and I haven't had yeah. a chance to actually take a look up close at one of those and I must say it's a really good looking vehicle. So if you guys are, you know, of, of the Isuzu sort of fan base and you're looking for something that's a, possibly a little more practical for the daily school run or the long journey across country on holiday and that, come and take a look at that MUX. I think what I'll do is when we're done with uh, chatting to Lisa here, I'm going to run you guys through it and we take a look at some of the changes there over the regular Isuzu KB. And so I just wanted to ask you, whereabouts are you guys based? We're based in Pretoria East okay. um, in the N4 Industrial Business Park. Oh, okay. So it's basically on the corner of the N4 Highway and Solomon Schlange off ramp. All right, fantastic. Now, what are you guys doing here? Because I believe that you guys have got quite an interesting stand and the activities that are going on here may be of much interest to the, the visitors to the Interval Tracking Festival. Yeah, this is our second year and every year we try to do something different. This year we've got two um, um, up and coming um, performers. Uh, we've got Almay um, Sher. She's got a couple of music videos out already and then we've got today we've got Sh uh, Shanae Grabi on okay. our stand. So Shanae Grabi is today. What time is that going to be happening? She's going to be at four. Okay so she's at four and tomorrow? Tomorrow um, starts at two. Almay is going to start Almay at two. two and then Charnay will be uh, performing again at four. Okay, fantastic. All right, and for those that are actually now here for business, and trust me, anybody that's attended the Interbolt Trucking Festival will know that it's a healthy mix of business and pleasure here, because there's a lot of social networking that goes on here, and while the guys are striking deals, they're sitting there and they're enjoying a nice cold, Coke with their uh, with their, uh, their their clients and their customers and of course their suppliers and that. So what do you have on the stand here for the for the hardcore customers to come and take a look at? Well, we today we've got the FTR 850 um, on stand AMT um, autom the the AMT transmission has made the Isuzu brand very famous. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an automatic transmission. That's this one, one over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, this one over here behind and us. And lift and shift has also been so kind to put a, put a crane on for us ah, today. Yeah, on the back of it there. You can yeah. just catch a peek of it. We'll show you guys that a little a little later on. And then we've got on, on stand today, we've got a demo on stand on the NPR 400. This one here yeah, that we're uh, leaning so conveniently, or I'm leaning conveniently against. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then we've also got a FTR 850, which is the manual transmission that we've converted in a, into a truck tractor conversion. Okay for your sm smaller volume type loads on a tandem axle semi trailer or a single axle trailer. Beautiful. Okay. And then you've got a, a couple of the Isuzu sort of passenger vehicle. Yeah. If we can call them passenger vehicles. They're still commercial vehicles. Yeah. But uh, the double cabs are out there and of course the MUX. And then they've got the stand over here. Uh, Lisa, I just want to say thank you very much for yeah. chatting. Guys, come and take a, a look at the, uh, the Bitvest McCarthy Isuzu stand here. What is your stand number? And um, we stand number five. Stand number five. Okay, so as I said in my previous video, if you didn't catch that one on Trailmax, uh, as you walk in, there is a nice layout diagram and you can check it out. Uh, you can find where stand number five is and make your way there. But that said, it's not as large as Nampa, so you don't need to sit there and plan your route. You can come and spend a good couple of hours here and still get a chance to sit and chat to everybody that is displaying here. So Lisa, I want to thank you very thank much you. for the chat. We're going to swing you guys around and show you that uh, some of the vehicles on display here and then of course uh, take a little bit of a squiz there at that MUX because I think that appeals to so many more people there because it's not only a business tool it's a bit of a social and recreational tool so Lisa thank you very much thank you. wish you all the best for the show let's swing you guys around here 
And we quickly take a look. There we go. There is that uh, 850 with the auto. And of course, as we said, that is now the ANT. And with, yep, we've been uh, rigged out with a crane. I'm taking a look at the 400 here on the drop side. I see some good Vespa McCarthy. The uh, manual version that has been converted into a uh, horse with a fifth wheel. There we go. And uh, the rest of the stand, I mean, this is right now here at the back of the stand. They have their own stage and their set up. That's where those uh, up and coming artists are going to be performing. We have the Isuzu AVX riders on display. But let's take a quick look at this uh, MUX, and of course, this is now really the bits that uh, tickle my fancy here. They've got it on display, and you can really come and take a nice look at it. It is, of course, a nice big SUV. Guys will remember things like, well, the Frontier and the likes. Let's take a look at the uh, interior here, interior fitment, and you can see that it differs a fair amount from the KB. It's still got familiar switch gear in terms of this central HVAC control, but then it is, of course, the infotainment screen that is considerably different. And then we take a look at how the double stitching on the leather and that has been implemented here into the MUX, and of course, lovely space in the back there. This is the new Isuzu MUX. And guys, just want to thank you very much for joining us. We've got uh, one or two more videos coming your way. So stay tuned to the Auto Trader commercial page and uh, we'll uh, chat to you in just a couple of minutes. Bye bye.